Hello, both in here, and I decided today to make a video of a review on Chick-fil-A. Now, believe it or not, but this is my first time I've ever had Chick-fil-A. Now, many people will probably not believe me, but this, my family has never taken me. Usually they take me to this place called PDQ that's almost exactly like Chick-fil-A. Uh, and yeah, so i just never gone before, and this today will be my first day. And it'll be interesting because I hear how popular it is. And uh, one of my funniest thing, the funniest things I hear is they're closed on Sunday, so a lot of people don't like get like a little frustrated about that. And well, for my, the PDQ wasn't closed on Sunday, but what I got today was an eight count nugget meal with two ranch and two buffalo. And what I found surprising was they, I heard that they're known for the amount of sauces they have, but they don't have nearly as many sauces as PDQ had, which people said PDQ was like a copy of them. And yeah, it's just crazy because I only saw like five options, but maybe it's because I went to the Chick-fil-A on campus. It might be different. And surprisingly after their third sauce they charge you here but pdq they didn't, they don't do that but and a large fry and a medium drink because i also i want to i'm a big fry guy and i didn't want to spend too much money so i only got an eight piece i'd usually probably get an, a 12 but and in total it was ten dollars so uh it's, I would say for an eight piece, yeah, it's about the same price as PDQ. Uh, I would probably a little more, but that ten dollars is also with my meal plan at school, where it excludes taxes. So it would probably have been like eleven. And so first, here's the drink, and first thing I noticed is they have this thing it says extra layer lasting temperatures and I got uh, uh, light ice I drank because I don't like how much they put in drinks and the ice seemed pretty cold like still in the drink I guess but no one thing I noticed is since they have a second layer it makes the drink look so much bigger than it actually is so I already know that they're trying to make the drink look big so they could sell it more and another thing is, it goes, like, far into the drink. Like, you're losing, it's also, now it looks bigger, because how much empty space you have down here. I can literally put my whole finger in it. And, so obviously, I know the tactics they're using on this drink. They're trying to make it look bigger, look better. And, I wonder if the insulation is actually pretty good. So I'll try it. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Uh, and oh, and but I forgot to mention the food. By by, I was walking this home. I ordered it there, and it only took about ten minutes to walk home. So it should the temperatures of the food and the drink shouldn't have affected too much. But yeah, it's pretty cold. But I'm, I would have to test it out with another drink and see if it actually does work. Because theoretically, it does make sense if it works because the air in between the, the outside layer and the inside layer should stay cold. will keep the inside cold longer. And yeah. And also, I, I'm going to talk about my experience there so it was per it was really busy like how people make it seem it is and but i was impressed by how fast they let out the orders like there was a huge line ahead of me and i've only had to wait there for max 10 minutes so i'm pretty impressed with that and the food at least when i picked up the bag it looked pretty fresh so let's see what the food looks like Oh, yeah, this is another thing to say. Wonder, I was thinking about wondering if it makes sense why they give you three sauces. 
you it's really small like that that's a pathetic and pathetic sauce like imagine how much plastic they're wasting by making these sauces these small like the ones at pdq would probably be three times as much for one sauce and i always thought i always wondered why people would always at like ask for so many sauces they must have been like taking advantage of it so when they go to chick-fil-a they can use our sauce but and but it looks like it's the good buffalo sauce i the orange buffalo sauces i really like and here's the large fry at pdq we usually have it overflowing into the thing to make it look better but it looks like they didn't really do it this much kind of looks pathetic I don't know what a small fry looks like, but if a small fry was filled up to the max with this one, it would probably be the same amount. And an eight piece nugget. Oh, it looks like they got a little crushed while I was bringing it. Yep. Gonna be honest, these nuggets, kind of pathetic compared to the PDQ at least. Um, yeah, they're really tiny. I thought they were going to be a lot bigger. An eight piece would be probably up to here filled up. Oh, same size. Probably you get like double the amount. But so far for $10, it's not looking like it's worth it. But I'll see the taste. What I'm going to do is taste each thing without sauce and with sauce. So, oh feeling the fry already it's soggy that's not how I like my fries fries not really it I like the saltiness and the uh, it has a good oily flavor on the, uh, the on the fry I don't know what oil to use but it tastes pretty good it's just, I do not like soggy fries. I'm sorry, but PDQ definitely wins on their fries. Whenever I made them, they're always crispy. And when I made it for others too, like, or whenever others were making it, always crispy. They just must not cook it as long. I don't think, I don't think the 10 minutes of me bringing it here should have made it soggy by now. But who knows? I also never really... Uh, like, I guess, spend time between getting the food and then eating it. I usually eat it, eat it immediately. But and now I'm gonna try the nugget. Breading's all right. Kind of tastes like the chicken is frozen. Doesn't taste like they bred it themselves. PDQ, we bred our own nuggets, tenders, breasts, everything. And I can definitely taste the difference between a, a fresh and a frozen uh, chicken. But breading's pretty good, I'll admit that. And it's not as bad, it's not bad for a nugget, but I definitely prefer something like McDonald's where you can get like 20 for $5. When I'm paying freaking uh, probably the same amount for eight nuggets, but it's all right. Now let's try it with the sauce. Oh, another thing I don't like is the pre. I don't like pre-made sauces. I mean, this sauce is good, the buffalo, but. It's not like homemade. It doesn't feel special. Like, for example, a Zach's. No, 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 it's not Zach's piece. Uh, Slim Chickens. Some of their so uh, their sauces are homemade. I well, it's like in different containers. It's like seafood containers where it's like makes it look like it's homemade. But uh, this is like industry type stuff, like a McDonald's. I don't really like that part. But now let's try the buffalo.
Buffalo's pretty good, but I'm a Buffalo guy. What can I say? Yeah, the drink stays pretty cold, but like I said, I would have to compare it the two with each other to see if it actually did do better. And let's try the ranch. See, I'm really picky with my ranch. If it tastes like a salad ranch, like, oh, what's that brand called? But the ones you can get at stores, it's like ranch dressing. I don't really like that. But ones like uh, Culver's, Slun Chickens, PDQ, yeah, those ranches are really good. But ones like McDonald's, I don't really like it. But who knows? Maybe this is good ranch. If I can open it. Alright. Oh, yeah. It's McDonald's Ranch. That sucks. Something as good, like, people make as think or say that Chick-fil-A, how good it is. The sauces are <laughs> below par. I expected a lot better for a place that's known for their sauces. Or... At least I heard they were known for their sauces. But, yeah. I'll still eat the ranch, but... Not my favorite, you know what I mean, but... So, so far, for a customer service, I would definitely say it's... Probably an 8 out of 10. And uh, the quality of the food, I'll count that as like uh, if it's hot, if it's like uh, not. I guess I'll just, yeah, I'll just have two different ratings. One will be customer service, one will be the food. So the food, I'd say. I'd probably say a 6 out of 10. And somewhere between a 5 and 6 out of Probably a 5.5 out of 10. I'm sorry, Chick-fil-A, but I'm kind of disappointed. I hear how much people like you, but... Um, yeah, I'll pass. But I definitely prefer something like Culver's and spend the extra, like... Well, it'd probably be the same exact price, let's be honest, but I'd definitely prefer Culver's over this any day, or Slim Chickens any day, or PDQ, of course. Like, I know I'd probably make it seem like I'm such a PDQ bandwagon because I work there, but I'm trying to be as honest as I can. Even McDonald's, I'm going to be honest, is better than this. Like, the fries at McDonald's is ten times better. The nuggets at McDonald's, they now they're probably way less, or way more unhealthy, but... I definitely prefer McDonald's over Chick-fil-A. So I'd probably say a 5.5, 6, 6 out of 10. Yeah. Thank you for watching my video and my review on Chick-fil-A. And stay tuned for more videos. See you guys.